Hey guys, welcome back to Tony Zatu's. In this video, I'll be showing you how to fix package installer keeps stopping. Before we start, hurry up and check out the software just under this video. So let's get started. So if you're having problems with your installer here and it's not working properly, well, in this case, there are going to be a few things that you can do here to probably solve this issue. So first thing that you want to do here is you want to install the following apps. So the first app here is going to be Shizuku. And in this case, you want to go and search for it, install this on your device. Next thing that you want to do is you want to search for another app, which in this case is going to be in your app manager. And in this case, again, you want to go and click on install and just wait for this to complete the installation. So in this case, let's go ahead and click on no tanks here. Wait for this. Now, once you've done that, we want to go and open up Shizuku here. So let's go look for it here quickly here. And what we need to do is we need to click on the pairing option that you see here. Let's go and click on it. Now, from here, what we need to do is we want to do a few things. Let's go and click on notification options. And in this case, what we need to do is we want to go and enable notifications and go back. Now, once you've done that, what we need to do is we want to go ahead and open up developer options here. So in this case, you want to go ahead and click on developer options. Now, by the way, if you haven't enabled developer options here, what I would suggest you to try doing here is uh, to basically go to your settings and under settings, you want to go ahead and look for about phone. And just want to uh, tap repeatedly on the OS version until you see that you are now a developer. Now, once you've done that, you want to go ahead and go back into Shizuku here. And in this case, what you, you need to look for here is you want to look for wireless debugging. Now, we'll be using the fair pairing option by this way. Let's go and click on developer option. Go ahead and scroll down a bit here. And you want to go ahead and look for wireless debugging and click on it. Now, what you need to do here is you want to go ahead and enable this. And from here, what we need to do is we need to click on the option that says pair device with pairing code. Now, you should be able to see your pairing code here. So what we need to do is we want to go and click on enter pairing code. And you want to go ahead and just basically enter the pairing code that we saw before. And once you've done that, it should actually pair Shizuko here. Now, what we need to do next here is just need to go back into our previous page here and just click on the start button that you see here. Now, it should start the uh, process here. So let's just wait for this one. Now, from here, what we need to do is we just need to click on authorize applications and you want to make sure that inner is actually enabled. Now, once we've done that, let's go ahead and exit this page here and let's go open up inner. Now, in inner, you could go ahead and access a few things here. But first, let's go ahead and click on agree. And in here, you could go ahead and skip the uh, setup process here if you want to. And in here, you should be able to do a few things. So scroll down a bit here and you should be able to see APKs. And you could go ahead and just basically uh, use the APK option here. So let's go ahead and uh, grant permissions here for our storage first. Allow. Let's go ahead and go back. Let's go ahead and click on close. And this should show you all the APKs you currently have on your mobile device. And you should be able to use this uh, installer here to basically install any app that you're having problems with. But in this case, that's about it. So if you found this video helpful, hit the like and subscribe button and watch our next video.